Hi guys, uh, so today I've got a little bit of a vlog and I feel like I'm not in focus. Am I in focus? I know I'm not wearing much makeup today, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I got from TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're in the States. Um, and I got this penny that I wanted to show you guys. I don't know why I'm showing you guys an apron, but this is what I got anyway. Uh, and it was $6.99 and it has like a pocket and my, I got a really nice apron and that was like a, it looked a bit manly though, to be honest with you. Um, and that kind of got ruined of the builders. And this is really cool. It's R and H, which is Rain and Humble is the brand. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of things for the kitchen. I did get some Himalayan salt. Normally, I thought this was a really good buy. This was two pounds seventy nine for five hundred grams. And there's one thing that I recently found out about Himalayan salt is that if it's produced in certain places, I don't know what they were, but I think. I'm not 100% sure, I don't know if it was in the Far East or something, but they can contain a lot of mercury, so you need to be careful. This one originates from Pakistan, is the origin, and it's all natural, it says, so it's from nature's finest, and I thought I'm gonna get this, because 500 grams is pretty good, and I really need some salt. So, and on another thing that I needed was coconut sugar. So I've been baking a lot with coconut sugar instead of sugar, and it's, um. This was $2.99, which I normally get from Tesco's. It's around three pounds. I get the organic one, um, but I don't know if it's the same amount or less. But anyways, I got some. This is Tropical Sun brand. I don't really see this brand. I see the brand so, but I don't see this everywhere. So, and basically it's just made from like the, all the coconut, all the sap and all of that stuff. Just ground it down. Um, I got this lemon thing. I saw my friend actually, I don't know if she's watch, watching Tenny, but she. I went to her house and she has literally everything for her house. And I've done like my refurbishment and had my kitchen for probably a year now, a year and a, no, a year and a half actually. We finished in December 22. And I still, there's a lot of things that I don't have. Like I recently bought a tin opener um, and just random like, crap like that I don't always have but anyways I was like you know what I slowly slowly I'm gonna start getting a few things that I need and I came across this it was 2 dollars but you can keep your lemons in here so yeah it's quite cute and then I got this it's like little teddy bear went to the moon little, um I don't know if you guys know that you might not so anyways um I thought this is really good if you guys like ever make food for one to kind of make noodles like for myself or a little bit of pasta or whatever then this is really handy to have this size because I usually use a great big colander so I got that and I got this cleaning thing from TK Maxx it was on clearance a little scrubber dub dub like I like cleaning the sink with this and, and then separately I popped into boots and I got some Organic cotton rounds, they were a good price. Um, I might do a skincare favourites as well. Um, but this is a, a cleanser that I use a lot. I've bought probably four of these now. And it's on the Inky list. And I've been loving it. I used it whilst I was pregnant as well. And I don't know if you're, meant to, you're, you're okay to use salicylic acid. Some say yes, some say no. But I, I did and I was fine. Uh, well, I don't know if I was fine. But anyways. Um... I quite like this and you can use it on your body too. My husband also uses this sometimes and it's just a good like chemical exfoliant if you don't want to be like really rough with yourself. Um, I wanted to try this Makeup Revolution setting spray because um, I use the e.l.f. one and I've come to an end with that and I wanted to um, buy a different brand basically. Uh, I've got this brow gel which I love. I just wore it this morning and I was like... I like this a lot. I just got the dark one and even though I've had my eyebrows um, like powder browed, this is like a really nice like gel formula to just, I don't know if I should do this, no, it feels quite hard anyways, so I don't want to add any more on, but I really like this. I should probably show you this in another video when I go upstairs and then I bought this lip oil thing because Makeup Revolution the same Sainsbury's Superdrugs were doing spend over 10 pounds and you can get this free and I actually needed this so I just bought this 
um, and it's quite cute. I like the packaging. I don't love the pink bit here, but I like the branding and the packaging. So it's a lip glaze oil. I might put it on, but it is quite a windy day and I'm going outside, but this reminds me of when I was younger and used to wear, you know, you used to get those roll on lip glosses in the 90s. Okay, I just put lipstick all over this. But that is what this reminds me of. Okay, I'm like, okay, it's not focusing. Um, so anyways, yeah, I wanted to show you some stuff upstairs, but what I'm gonna do, I might take you guys with me because I need to go and get my hiking boots for the cruise. I really, really need to start packing for this cruise because I'm going in for Shizikov. I'm going in four days, so I need to pack. I still, I know roughly what I'm taking, but maybe you guys can like pack with me. I'll show you some packing cubes that I got. And yeah, this is gonna be like a vlog um, that are actually on sale and that I really, really like. I don't know if you guys actually find any of that handy, but I always find it handy when I watch people and they recommend things and use things like this, for example, I absolutely love. It lasts a really long time as well. And I use it even after I wash my face off like with cleanser, with an oil um, that I use. I go in with that and I go in with that in the morning and you can use it on your body as well. So if you have like spots on your arms or your back or anywhere else on your body, you can use this cleanser. So I'm really happy with that. And plus it's the inky list, it's not the ordinary. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, let's get going. Okay guys, so I know it's gonna be a little bit random, but I need to show you guys this. This is a fig balsamic vinegar and I picked it up from this uh, shop. Uh, this Italian delicacy and it's a fig balsamic vinegar glaze and it is so nice it's I've never actually seen fig balsamic vinegar before and I could have I'm just wondering no I don't think I have now if you guys see it all the time then sorry I have been living under a rock um, for the past six months but this is um, this is really really good. It's really nice in salads. I use it on a salad. But just to kind of let you guys know, if you guys ever make steak, I've mastered. Okay, I won't say mastered, but I've always perfected how I do steak, and that was my mum who showed me how to do it. So it's like fry it in butter, but first I add a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, and I don't know what that does to the meat. Um, I don't know how it tenderizes it. It does something. Tommy, come. Tommy's going in the pantry. Like, look what he's doing. Tom, can you get out the pantry, please? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse the mess, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna get this cat out of the pantry. Come on. Come on. Oh, I squashed him. Tommy. I don't know how I'm gonna get the cat out of the pantry. He always does annoying stuff like this. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to do about getting the cat out the pantry. But anyways, as I was saying, um, so salt, pepper, then tablespoon, no tablespoon, teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Ideally, a little drizzle on top and the bottom. You could probably use two teaspoons. And um, like just leave it to marinate for, I don't know, half an hour. However long you'll leave your meat out to kind of come to room temperature before you fry it and cook it. Um, and I cook it in butter and it really like, I think this tenderizes it all, the vinegar like tenderizes it. I just use like normal balsamic vinegar from Aldi or Lidl and I often like get it from there and I quite like it, but it lasts such a long time. So I really like this. So yeah, that was a bit random uh, with the vinegar, but this is all part of my, my vlog. This is the first time kind of redoing the vlog. I keep saying it, I'm being really weird. Um, but I, I wanna show you guys something. I've been doing a floristry course as part of like a therapy for me. And I made these flowers. So I'm just showing you this because this is called an aqua pack. And these are the flowers. I've just done something rare. The theme was to go red for the king's birthday. Not that I'm into any of that. But, so I just went for the red and 
like eucalyptus is quite a traditional type of thing so this is like red for me red roses need to be just red roses no fillers no nothing um but i did get i did make these so i'm actually going to give these to my mum who i'm going to go and see um tomorrow so yeah i just thought i'd show you this because i really am enjoying the floristry course i'm not sure if i would be a florist because it's really therapeutic doing it but i just don't know if it's worth it for me but i do I, I probably would take orders but i don't know if i would have a store or maybe i would have a store if it was really nice actually tell a lie um but i wouldn't really i don't think i think i would rather take orders because that way you know what you're ordering nothing goes to waste and you know you're selling it whereas when it's not you don't know if you're selling it and i just don't like waste like that so yeah in two minds about that but i'm just waiting for my husband to come down and as usual he does take 100 years to do anything before we go out he's probably like in the toilet or something um so anyways i'm gonna go and find him so we can get going i need to go and pick up my boots in richmond so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna film you i don't want to play pay delivery so that's why i got it delivered to there so we are just on the way to go and pick up my boots and oh my gosh i feel like my blazer's a little tight around the arms or do you know when you just don't put clothes on properly and then it gets a bit tight around the arm that's kind of how i feel right now but anyways um yeah i will show you i don't know if i'm gonna vlog actually because it is raining so maybe i'll just see you guys back when i get home so guys i wanted to ask do any of you do any hiking and if you do are there any tips that you could let me know or any things that i should be getting i know a rucksack is one now i could use my skiing rucksack but in all honesty i don't know where that's gone um and if my husband's got anything to do with it i know he threw it in the garage and i'm not gonna go in there or it could be in the loft but otherwise i'm just gonna shove things in his backpack um instead of carrying it and hiking boots i know that's one thing um but i'm just wondering what else should i get the hiking sticks or are they for kind of people who need a bit of assistance um yes because i'm just wondering so if any of you hike let me know if there's any like key or essential things because we're going to be in norway and the weather's like really interchangeable is that a word so temperamental temperamental <laughs> um so we don't know what we're getting a bit like british summer actually so i um yeah i'm gonna have to bring like layers i'm gonna have to wear um like a, a pack of raincoat i'm actually gonna pack my winter coat as well which i really don't want to pack but i'm gonna pack it because i'd rather have it and like not need it than need it and not have it if i said that in the right way around i think i did um so yeah i'm gonna show you guys that and i'm just wondering whether i might just do the whole packing thing in this one video i think i might do that because i've got four days before i go and at least i can show you some packing tips um and hacks and it'll be really interesting packing for all seasons in a suitcase in like one suitcase so I'm show you guys. So guys, just came back home to find all of this. Now, I don't know, it could be Tomasino. Is it you? Or is it Loki? Loki, is it you? Is it you, young man? Hmm? Is it your fur? So guys, I am just back from Richmond and I'm gonna show you my hiking boots. But I just wanted to show you a couple of things I picked up from Holland and Barrett. I got this Creative Nature Gluten-Free Dairy and Nuts um, Carrot Cake Mix. So it's only $3.49. I thought I'd give this a go because it only has... Um, what does it have in here? It doesn't have like too, cra like, too much crazy. So... Um, and you just add like apple cider vinegar, water, vegetable oil, and grated uh, carrots. That's all you need to add. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try like low calorie baking. And then I actually wanted to show you these. I bought the shampoo and the vitamins because I am, I am getting a lot of postpartum hair loss. Uh, it's, it was so thick when I was pregnant with Gabriel. And now it's like falling out and I'm like, oh my gosh. So I've heard this is really good. I used to use the gummies. I didn't see too much 
of a difference so maybe a tiny bit but anyways these are on clearance for 9.99 from 20 pounds so i bought two boxes um and that's two months worth and it's not the chewy one i don't think i think it's the one that you swallow and it's suitable for like pregnancy and after so if you're trying or anything then you can have it is the capsules it's not the gummy so i hope i get on well with this because normally i'm not very good with capsules but uh, i'm gonna try this oh and i bought this uh sketching set it's really cool it's nice and like wooden and i'm gonna open this up for you guys because i wanted to get some water coloring pencils so you can just color and then use a bit of water and make it like into a cool piece of artwork um so i have got my q gardens book so this has been really good therapy for me it's a q gardens uh dot to dot book and then you can color it in i've used uh paint i've just painted i find that really therapeutic for me to take my mind off things when things feel really hard um so i've got dot to dot and now i've got coloring pencils but i really want to show you this my husband actually found this that's so cool so you've got sketching pencils coloring pencils and a few pens and a sharpener and i thought this would be really good for 10 pounds so so anyways i'm gonna make a cup of tea and have a little sit down and i might color in it feels really nice to color in but no i've got stuff to do i think i might need to cook so um i'm gonna show you the boots so i just wanted to show you what i got from mountain warehouse I got these really cute little boots that were on sale and I picked them up in a size 4 and they look quite like small. Um, I'm a 3 but I wanted a 4 so I can put in some kind of arch support or comfy insoles in here and I didn't want it to be like really tight. And these are meant to be waterproof as well so I love how they're like all crisscrossy. I've got a pair of Jimmy Choo trainers that are similar but obviously not waterproof. So I'm absolutely loving this. I will link it for you um, because I did buy these online. So guys, today is another day and um, I've got some makeup on it and I think I overdid it on the blush, but hopefully it will just come off like as I go throughout the day. I wanted to show you my bathroom floor because now it is actually done. So you've had a good clean of like the bathroom, the toilet, um, the towels are a little bit messy, but you know what? No one's really going to come in here. I'm going to paint this myself, by the way. And here we've had this put on. So he couldn't drill it because it's got the metal framework for the pocket door here. Um, but it's got a bit of um, the glue. I'm going to try and scrape some of it off. It feels quite silicone-y. But um, I don't, he should have used clear glue, really. But I came back and it was done. So hey-ho. Um, and I've just got, like, my towel here. So it's quite long. But at least, look, I can put two. So one for me and one for my husband. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I want to show you the two pegs that I've got here. I said I was going to stick them here. And it just looks, like, better like that. And then the flooring. Oh. I just, like, hit the top bit of that um anyways yeah so the flooring is actually done now my gosh okay so my shower head is having a wee i didn't put it on i think what it is water collects in here because it's quite a big head and then when you tilt it it goes down i think all of the ones do that and that one sometimes does it too so never mind oh my god make it stop never mind but yeah so the grout is all done and i'm so much more happier so today is like the darkest day i'm going to show you guys outside my window but the truth is the window is really dirty so i don't actually want to show you that i i'm actually starting to get around to doing things um in the house i guess where i was like really ill before and i like physically like couldn't do anything and now i'm doing stuff i find myself really busy considering that i'm not working at the moment so um yeah anyway so that's why i'm gonna get more videos out this is more i keep saying it's more of a vlog style i think you guys have got the gist now oh and i wanted to show you guys something else so my mum got me this she actually bought three one for my um two sisters like one each and me and it's foldable it's battery operated but you can also plug it in so at the moment i haven't got batteries so i need to go and buy that but 
you go like this and let me just plug it in she says she got it on tv so i imagine qvc i didn't even know qvc was still getting going but they are so it looks like this and you've got three settings one two three this is like um if you're going to take pictures then this is obviously quite an extreme way of doing it i've got a smaller one that i'm going to show you but i am going to pack this because i know i'm not going to have anywhere that i'm going to have good lighting on the boat apparently our cabin is at the back and we don't have a window seat and we didn't actually opt for a balcony and i'm kind of wishing that we did but hey ho so we've got a window instead and hopefully a window seat um so i've got this to do my makeup in case i can't see what i'm doing and you press it on the fourth time and it goes um off and then it's like this size so like same size as like my head and it's really lightweight so i'm gonna pack this this is what i'm wearing to pop out the room is an absolute tip uh but i've just put this on my hay shape shapewear and i've got these leggings on which act as a nice shapewear actually i must say and i've got these on from russell and bromley and this is a really old shirt dress that obviously no longer does that but it looks nice quite open i think and i've just got it with my long chomp bag so i'm going to be wearing this to use the shoes at the back um so now i'm just waiting for my husband so we can get out and so i'm just gonna annoy the cat because that is how i do isn't that right little loki isn't that right little loki what's that by your eye gross say hi loki oh my god this cat looks so miserable i can assure you he is very well looked after aren't you <laughs> So just in the car now, um, on our way to the shops, I need to go to Uniqlo to get my husband some trousers and also some like boat shoes to wear on the boat because it's quite smart so he won't be able to wear trainers for the evening or like sandals. Um, sometimes when you're on holiday, you know, in the evening you'll wear sandals and it's quite okay as long as you've got a shirt on even then like the nicest results. But on the boat you have to be a bit more smart so uh yeah we need to get some shoesies for him i'm thinking some suede boat shoes just come across this shop and <laughs> buckwheat or i might just do bulgari i'm not too sure i've got some peppers i've got some aubergines um i was gonna make a joke then but i really went and i've got some uh some mushrooms um and some beef and i'm gonna use my air fryer but i think for now i'm gonna wash everything up i've just washed my hands um and i'm gonna get cracked so guys i am just doing the aubergine what i'm doing is just putting a bit of olive oil salt uh oregano black pepper i'm actually using this smoked sea salt which is quite nice the hot paprika which is really really good so guys i have cooked the peppers and the aubergines and everything and hopefully it tastes nice because i don't know if the peppers are enough like done like enough if you know what i mean so they're nice and soft but I, they look it i think 